Welcome to TIBCO Jaspersoft's Visualize.js Fresh Delivery Web App Demonstration, where we will show you how to embed highly customizable interactive charts, tables, maps, and dashboards directly into your web applications using the Visualize.js framework. The Fresh Delivery Web App was built with you, the end developer in mind, to not only showcase the awesome embedding capabilities of Visualize.js, but to provide an example project to break down and learn from. In our example, Fresh Delivery Foods provides both online and in-store services. So let's start by exploring our top selling brands and products. In our top sellers page, we have two separate charts. Each of these have been built out in Jaspersoft Studio and have been built separately so that parameters can be passed from the brand report to the product report. By selecting from our brands, sorted by the top store sales, we can update the products below and see the top selling products in each of these brands. Jaspersoft provides built-in zoom functionality, so we can view the highest product sales here, or reset the zoom and also view the lowest product sales, so we can get in closer to that detail. Let's also look at a different chart type. We could pick a pie chart so that we can view more of the labels and see more detail. When we select from the brand bars, this now updates the visualization below but keeps the pie chart view. What's important to note in this visualization is that we have two reports, both built in Jaspersoft Studio, making it possible for two reports to interact with one another with the Visualize.js JavaScript API. Let's look at how a report can interact with HTML as well. In this view, we filter down in the Food Mart dataset to only the most health conscious options. Here we can see that we have seasonal availability, listed by the size of the circles, by price, and popularity, or top sales. Let's select a highly popular, low-priced item. When I select the bubble chart, it updates the parameter, passing it directly to the HTML using Visualize.js. Since this report was created in Studio, we're able to pass this parameter this way. Notice how, in this tooltip, we have average units ordered, price, and availability. Below, we have the image that updates, but also we have the data points including additional units per case. Notice how it's not included in the tooltip, but it still passes through. If we select from our legend, we can also remove certain items, allowing us to narrow in our search and find items more easily. Let's look at our Go Green page. In this case, we have a Google Map component which has been customized in Studio, allowing customers to filter down to only environmentally friendly products in their local area. Our spider chart then updates, showing the number of available products by department. Selecting these departments shows us a product listing in our table below. Now we can filter down to the lowest priced items, or add any of the number of custom filters and sorting that comes out of the box with Jaspersoft. Check the details in the description below and discover how you can access the intelligence inside your applications today.